Douglas Handy, and I'm the Director for Career and Technical Education and Fine Arts at Baltimore County Public Schools. Today, I'm going to be looking at the 2020 Winter Exhibition at the Avenue at White Marsh. And this is a uh, virtual art exhibition by BCPS uh, school students, K through 12. Okay, so this one really jumped out at me because, uh, you know, the medium, uh, media being used is straight from nature. And starting, I guess, with the hair, uh, the hair is, um, it looks like some straw, some dry grass. The rubber bands, you know, is it the rubber bands being used to tie the, the media together to make the hair, or is it part of the hairstyle? So I thought that was neat um, to incorporate those rubber bands. The arms actually show action and like hands would be spread open or fingers spread. Um, so even the artists have find these, these uh, you know, small twigs to display the action was pretty neat. Uh, it looks like some flower petals for the top, um, which is actually to me very beautiful. It's a, it's a really nice, um, the texture is very nice. The petals by themselves, of course, are, are beautiful, but to incorporate them into um, the outfit of the subject, I think is, is um, even brings out, I guess, more of the beauty of the the petals themselves. But again, I, I like the complete character. I like the pink and green coloration. You know, the expression on the you know smile on the face of the subject. So uh, this is a, this is a piece I, I enjoy looking at. All right, so this one really speaks to me um, <laughs> for a few reasons. So again, I uh, really appreciate. Uh, this artist depiction because it's a couple things are coming up for me. So this is this is uh, Spider-Man. That's obvious. You got the web being, um, you know, he's spinning the web there. You know, one of Spider-Man's powers. You've got uh, the Spider-Man outfit, and it's you can tell from the hands and the head and the feet that it's Lego. And then you've got Lego blocks. So uh, when I was the age of the artist, I was also a fan of Spider-Man and Lego. So that's why I like this piece in particular. Just um, again, a very to me a very nice depiction of what the artist is considering their favorite things. Um, but I think it's um, to me it spoke to me because I had some of those same favorite things when I was the age of the artist. Um, and I took a peek at the um, title on this one, but the um, and let's go right to that. So the artist is calling this one "The Colors of the World," and again, this is the type of piece that I would hang. Um, you know, on a wall in, in an office setting, somewhere I wanted to bring some some calm, some inspiration, some good energy. Uh, again, I, I like the I like the colors. Then I'm looking at the shapes. You have you know these long rectangular shapes. You've got circles. Um, you can even break down. It looks like it's a square, and um, in the rectangles intersecting with others, making you know like I said more of a square, or smaller rectangles. Um, then it's like a whimsical little purple uh, purple and blue shapes. I'm not even sure what shapes I would call those, but uh, I like the artist's uh, selection of shapes and colors to really create a nice palette of, of good energy. So again, this is the type of piece that I, I would, you know, put in a place that I would be frequently so I could experience it over and over again. I did, um, I do enjoy looking at this. It looks like it's done with watercolor perhaps. Um, but um, I like I like this piece. I'm Doug Handy, and I look at BTPS art.